All right, I'm uh, getting ready to change the starter uh, here on this 2009 Chevy Suburban. Uh, I've already watched uh, three or four videos uh, that have been very helpful uh, on showing how to replace the starter. And they've all said that uh, the process is basically the same uh, for all of these vehicles. Uh, 2007 to 2014, I believe, uh, Chevy models, uh, Suburban, Tahoe, uh, or Silverado, uh, the process is basically the same. Uh, I did find one difference uh, here with my particular vehicle. This is a 2009 Suburban. And uh, all of the videos that I watched uh, said that there were two bolts that hold the starter, uh, that mount the starter, and then there are two uh, threads, uh, bolt threads coming off the starter where you have your wire connectors. And um, the one difference that I found here, and here's uh, the new starter that I just and I just bought um, one difference that I found is uh, on this particular starter I don't have two bolts uh, for the wire connectors I have one bolt here uh, this bolt here goes to the uh, uh, I believe to the battery uh, this um, thread here take this nut off and the lock nut washer uh, and then put your uh, uh, cable on there and then just tighten that nut back down uh, but I did not have another um, wire connector this way but the uh, the second connection on mine uh, is this plastic uh, this plastic clip here and uh, and you'll see I'll, I'll show you what uh, what I'm talking about when you get under the vehicle you'll be able to see a little bit better um, so just uh, just wanted to point this out that not all of the starters have the two uh, connectors that way with the uh, with the thread and the nut uh, for the wires. Some of them have this um, uh, plastic harness connector. Uh, anyway, I'm not a mechanic, never have claimed to be a mechanic. Uh, and so uh, anytime I'm attempting to do something on my vehicle, I've got to go to YouTube and, and learn and Again, I'm very thankful for the videos that I saw. Uh, they were a great help to me. Um, but I just wanted to point this out and show you the difference. Uh, this Again, this is a 2009 Chevy Suburban. And um, anyway, um, thanks for watching. All right, so here I am underneath the car uh, looking at my starter. And uh, all the videos, uh, like I said before, all the videos that I'd watched on these particular uh, this particular year in these uh, models uh, talked about the two bolts uh, right here uh, to loosen the starter take the starter down and uh, and then the two uh, wire uh, connectors uh, up here to uh, uh, just need to need to be removed and what I'm finding is that on this particular this is a 2009 Suburban again uh, I've got here the, um, well, you can see that one bolt, uh, goes to the battery cable, I, I believe. Uh, and then, uh, but I don't have a second bolt, uh, with the nut on it. Uh, what I've got is a, um, uh, a plastic clip here and there zoom in a little bit and you can see so um again uh this is a little bit different than what other starters are showing uh, or what other videos are showing and so i just wanted to point this out uh and really all, all you got to do is just remove that that little clip and uh and then snap the other one on or snap it on the new the new starter there but uh Anyway, I just wanted to point out that not all of these, there's a 2009 Suburban and not all of those starters will have the two bolts. Uh, some of them are going to have uh, just the, the one bolt or the nut and that, uh, that cable um, and then others may have that plastic clip. And uh, anyway, super easy uh, to take off, I'm sure. And um, I'll show you the new starter on uh, here in a moment. 